What's good, b-ball lovers in the 256 across East Africa, wherever you may be. Welcome to another episode of Bake, the show that satisfies all your b-ball cravings, hosted by yours truly, Salalia War and Marcus Kwikiriza. And inside that arena is where the finals of the Zuku University Basketball League games are taking place. It's been almost 10 weeks, but we're finally here. On Barke, we've been showing you a string of pieces about how the culture surrounding basketball works. And to complete that series, we have one more to show you. It began on the streets of New York in the 1970s, but breakdancing is very much alive right here in Kampala. Check this video out. No, Marcus, no. Let it go. Homie, no. Don't do it. I'm talking to you, girl. Yeah. All in you. All right now. Basically, break dancing is a, is a different art form. It's one of the elements of hip hop. Involved dancing involves a little top rock stuff, freezes, and there's so many different um, elements. When I organized my first breakdance battle, I organized it at a basketball court, you know, because it's really cool to have it, you know, that environment, you know. And most of the people, like, people have been jamming a lot on basketball courts. And, you know, so, so these art forms have, have been closer to each other. I find breaking interesting in a sense that this is a male-dominated kind of dance where you have to, like, try to blend in and be Okay, try to blend in and also try to enjoy and adopt the culture as is. It like gives you this kind of self-esteem, like to believe your, to believe in yourself, to say that you can do what a boy can do because in Uganda like it's normally like they put girls down. But for me, I feel so happy that I can do something like a boy can do. <laughs> So Marcus, you think you can do those moves? Oh yeah, we can do. I used to be very good at break dancing, but uh -huh. not my thing anymore. I actually believe that there are easier ways to impress a lady. That's kind of like DNG stuff. Plus, I think it also requires a loss, low center of gravity wow. to, to pull that off. Wow, you know what, you guys. I mean, I thought cat fighting was for women. You are relentless. Silale, I'm just saying. Quickly changing um, the subject, okay? It's time for us to showcase another university that is participating in the ZUBL. Even though they didn't make it to the finals, they specifically made a request for the Bake crew to come onto their campus. Here is Kisubi Brothers University. We are brothers. That's the uniqueness about it. We leave nobody out. We are all brothers. Blood, sweat, we move it like together. The word brothers alone, as you can feel it, the moment you know someone is your brother, you'll always feel so attached to that person. Actually, it's, it's a sister university, but well, with time, we expect it to be independent. The environment itself is very conducive. It's in Entebbe, it's a very quiet place. For education, for sports, I think we have the best facilities. What keeps us together as a team is, we all have love for the game. Guys have really seen how basketball is really a good game and people really want to share. Zuki League has been a very good experience to both, to all of us. Let's say it's three brothers. For, it's actually our first league. We are young and uh, with Zuku as the first 
we expect it to bring us to better heights, better levels. Uh, I've liked the, the, the league. Uh, I've got uh, exposure to different universities. Uh, the way uh, different people have been playing the game. Uh, formations, uh, most especially man to man, and uh, uh, the way they've been playing. Uh, I've liked uh, the exposure I've got. Our, our, our best moment as a team was the day when uh, our first win with uh, Bugelma University at their home ground. We have girls in our university, but uh, we're actually trying to inspire them. They are not yet into the game fully, but I guess the next league will be, we'll have a, a, a girls team. Though we don't have a ladies team, but you, you find that when we travel around, instead the ladies from the other teams support us. I mean, that alone also gives us the morale to play a game and you find we are moving on. Uh, maybe something you guys should know about our team that it's just the start. You guys should really expect something more great than what you've seen. So you guys shouldn't be surprised when after one or two years you find these guys being the main boys in the game. So. The first achievement was when I represented Uganda in uh, Basketball Without Borders, that was in South Africa. It was organized by the NBA. So I got to meet a little bit of uh, big guys, NBA guys, NBA coaches and all that. Then my second achievement was when I was called uh, of the national team and my age, so really the national team already is associated with big guys, older guys, experienced guys, but it was an achievement for me. I'm good at running. Yeah, I have good handles, I have good court vision, so really, most of the times I end up running the lanes for the team, so I end up making quick points for the team, so I like passing. I like it when my teammate is scoring after giving him an assist. Basketball has seen my life in a really very good way. I wake up early morning, I already think about the game each day. You think about the game, then you're getting something new every time. I follow the NBA, so I really follow statistics, how guys play. I'd like, I'd like to play abroad. I'd like to go professional outside Uganda. Well, Drew, let's talk another dunk for him later on. Anyone can be good if he or she means to be. So no one, no one can really stop you from being good. And I like winning, by the way. I love winning. Indeed, Marcus, a well-deserved MVP title and a well-deserved ZUBL title to the Deje Angels. One can expect more and more competition for both of these in the upcoming season. Absolutely, Silali. And with the National Basketball League always on the lookout for fresh talent, we should expect more from the likes of Jonah or Soro or Chuma in the years to come. That's right, that's right. And as the ZBL season comes to a close, the hugely, hugely popular Uganda National Basketball League kicks off here. This is going to be, you know, one of the hardest seasons uh, as, as City Oilers because um, we are the defending champions. 
What I feel is like uh, we have a good chance of retaining the, the championship again and even qualifying for like uh, extra zone five. After the zone five also, you know, we are going to give it a, like a good try. 2014 is going to be a great year for us. We are we restructured. We, this is a new chapter for power basketball and I think our impact on the league will be felt. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think right now the way the league is set up is good and exciting. Over the years we've been having seasons where we know who is going to win or we can almost predict. But this year I feel like it's very unpredictable. And uh, of course the teams that have won in the past like the City Oilers, uh, the, uh, Tiger Head Power, the Falcons, uh, the Warriors, and there are a couple of good institution teams that are going to make it a tough season. So we're really excited about it. What makes me so confident that we can win this season is one, the, the type of players that have been brought on board, added to the players that were here last year. If they bring them together, it's automatically a championship. The only thing that we haven't won right now is the league. And that is the goal. That is what we are working on and that is what we are looking at right now. We are working so hard as a team to win the, the league in Uganda. I think we've prepared the best way we can for the league, so we're excited. It's, it's a new chapter in my book and it's a new chapter in my, in my, uh, in my team's book. Concerning the last time, Sharing was in was in the top league. Most of my most of my players were all. Um, I think they're all well, they're all just joining preschool. So uh, it's going to be a, it's, it's going to be an interesting chapter. One that I think no one can take away from us at the end of the year. We've been practicing for about a month now, and uh, we've had certain additions to our team, and we are looking to build for the future. So basically, we've had some young blood coming, some younger guys coming, and we're blending it with a bit of experience you know, to see to it that we try and get to our goal this year and also make sure that we can go and achieve the objective of the championship. If not this year, then the next. So we basically, it's been a rebuilding process for us. I believe that um, if you play team basketball, um, you're going to achieve, you know, a lot as a team. So uh, what I'm trying to do as a coach is uh, make sure that uh, we play as a team. Um, we, we make the right movements, we make the right pass. Yeah, I think the, the main corner is how to be City Oilers, because they are not only the defending champions, but they have strengthened their team this year. So they are definitely going to be better than they were last season. And uh, I think the experience of winning the championship last year, plus bringing in a couple of Good new players makes them the biggest contender for me. All these teams you mentioned here are great teams. We will uh, give it to the champions, the 2013 champions, City Oil. They, they have uh, a very good guard in Ben Komakech. They have uh, a good player in Jimmy Nabu. They also have uh, Kami Kabenge. Uh, they, have, they have a strong team and they also are a well-structured team. They are well-organized. So I'll give it to them. I think uh, they are the very big threat to this league. The league has gotten stronger, so um, the dominance that uh, Power and Warriors and Falcons had is, is obviously now going to be shared among some new entrants. You see you has always been a force to reckon with, now we have the City Oilers among others, so it's, it's going to be very exciting and I, I, I don't think it will be a power shift, it's going to be more of a challenge for the likes of Warriors. We, we set the standard high, for example, a better pay, uh, getting the right equipment in terms of shoes, track shoes, enough materials to use for workout, games, and, uh, and, and, the, and, and taking care of the players. You know, when other clubs see what you're doing for your club, other clubs also have to do the same for their players, otherwise it will be a problem. Uh, Warriors has always been the money bags, the powerhouse with the money and we get the players we want from way back then. And uh, I think that trend has been copied 
by many of the other teams. And many teams have uh, good sponsors coming on board, investors willing to even invest in infrastructure for those particular teams. So there's going to be a growth in terms of uh, uh, maybe becoming quickly uh, a semi-professional league towards the professional league. It is quickly getting there. For the past eight years, our National Basketball League has been growing. Tougher and tougher every year. The following has been, you know, uh, growing every year. And this year cannot be an exception. Uh, you've already seen the recruiting that has happened in the teams, the inspection that's coming up in the teams. Uh, we believe that this year will, you know, get a, a, even a much tougher league, which is very important for our marketing, which is very important for the uh, growth of, you know, and development of skill in our players. We know it's going to be tough, but we'll do our best to retain it and be the top of the league every time. City Oilers, Warriors, Power, Falcons, UCU. The 2014 National Basketball League is wide open and anyone's for the taking.